Good evening, everybody, or good morning, or good afternoon, potentially, depending on when you're watching this Connect Group video. I'm Kyle, this is Krista. So glad you've decided to join us for this week's edition of Connect Groups. Man, we had an amazing week uh, last week talking about 1 John chapter 2, verses 28, and then into chapter 3 uh, through verse 10. It really was just this idea of being children of God and having our hope set in him and that ultimately you know we need to abide in Jesus and we'll actually talk about that a little bit uh, during this video as well but last week was awesome uh, this past Sunday was awesome we're obviously in a brand new series called true story and so I hope that you join us for that uh, in person if or online if you missed it it is you know here on our YouTube channel so as soon as uh, connect group time is done then go back and watch that on demand it was great had a wonderful time and it was also awesome for last week's connect group to be able to send pizza yep. to one of our connect group homes so what's the lesson that you learned you never know what things are going to happen in the creek you never know what we'll do at connect groups so you always want to lock in either in person or online make sure that you're engaging with us because we like to give things away especially yes. when it involves food. Krista, I know I just summarized last week, but we have a lot of things coming up for the foreseeable future. Tell we us do. about Actually, those things. Actually, there's a lot. I mean, like the next couple of weeks are pretty packed They're with some pretty fun. Big. So first of all, make sure you join us on Sunday for uh, True Story Part 3 as we continue our series in that. Um, but then on the 31st, we are going to have just a fall hangout at your Connect Group home. So um, you can dress up if you want to, you know, come hang out with your connect group homes. There'll be some candy. Who knows what else we'll have there. You know, we always like to do the unexpected. So yeah, reach might. out to us if you don't have the details for that. So we'll be glad to we give will to give you. those to you. And then on this November 2nd for, we will have our Creeks giving and that's the right date. I believe I said, I'm going to um, check right now. She's going to double check me. That it's was actually it. November 4th. Fourth. Okay. Because November just... 2nd is my daughter's birthday. Oh. And I was like, uh Oh, I have a conflict of interest. <laughs> oh no. Okay. November so see, 4th. you know, I don't have my calendar in front of me, that's but okay. November, 4th. Uh, November 4th, Creeks giving, it is going to be a fun, um, family event. It's for you and your family. We're going to eat together, have some fellowship. You'll get some more details about that. Um, coming if, in an email. So, yep. and then, uh, last, we are super excited about our Creek weekend in November the 13th through the 15th. So um, if you're not signed up for that, you're gonna wanna get signed up for that because it's gonna be um, a lot of fun to, uh, to just hang out for the weekend. I mean, I'm super excited to be on campus and or you can join us actually online too. So we're gonna have both options available on campus online, uh, but we're gonna have a great weekend together. So. Yeah, it's gonna be sort of like some of the things we've done, yes. but also not like any of the things we've ever done. We've really thought outside the box for this one. Yes, here is um, the box, So, us, right right here. Okay. So you're gonna definitely want to make sure you're joining us for that. It's gonna be awesome. But let's get started. I'm gonna actually read the passage tonight and then pray for us and then uh, we'll have a little bit of discussion and then you can guys can discuss. <laughs> First John uh, chapter 3 verses 11 through 24 for this is the message that you have heard from the beginning that we should love one another we should not be like Cain who was of, e of the evil one and murdered his brother and why did he murder him because his de his own deeds were evil and his brothers were righteous do not be surprised brothers that the world hates you we would we know that we would have passed out of death into life because we love the brothers. Whoever does not love abides in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has entered eternal, eternal life abiding in him. By this we know love, that he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay our lives down for our brothers. But if, we, but if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? Little children, let us love in word or talk, not in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. But this we shall know, by this we shall know we are of the truth 
and reassure our hearts before him. For whatever our hearts, for, for whenever our hearts condemn us, God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts does not condemn us and we have confidence before God and whatever we ask we receive from him because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we believe in the name of the Son of Jesus Christ and love one another just as he commanded us. Whoever keeps his commandments abides in God and God in him. And by this we know that he abides in us and by the Spirit whom he has given us. God, just come to you, Lord. I pray that as we look at this passage, Lord, and we talk about, uh, God, just your love for us and how we love others, Lord, would you just meet with us in this time and just teach us. In your name I pray. Amen. So uh, talking about chapter 3, verses 11 through 24, there's a lot here, and we could spend a whole lot of time dissecting this, but that's not our job. That's actually your job. So um, let me give you a couple of quick little thoughts about this, and I'll pitch it to Krista, and she can give you a couple of thoughts uh, from her perspective. But I think one of the biggest things that, that sticks out to me is just this extreme emphasis that John has about love. Okay, and how does it display it? Well, ultimately, you know, in, in verses 14 and 15, it talks about the fact that for, for someone who loves Jesus, there can't be hatred, right? And one of the things we talked about in the creek last month is the fact that our world is full of hatred. There's animosity, there's bitterness, there's anger. And for the Christian, that can't be, that shouldn't be, a part of our life. And John gives the example of Cain and Abel and how the, the true heart, our heart attitude really matters to God as it's reflected in our actions. And then ultimately at the end, uh, talking about this idea once again of abiding. It keeps coming up. And so students, anytime that a, a central idea or a theme or a topic continues to come up in scripture, you wanna pay close attention to that because repetition means importance, all right? And so this idea of abiding in God and obeying God through abiding is very, very significant. What sticks out to you? I think what sticks out to me, I mean, is, is really the same thing that the love we have really is more so what comes out of us, it's our action. Really, because Jesus set that example, it says that Jesus sacrificed for us and that he's already set the example. So as we live out um, love and we abide in him, that we're also following his lead. Like mm. we're not just, he's not telling us to do something that he hasn't already done and displayed for us. And I also, I love verse 18 because once again, you know, we see throughout this entire book that John refers to his audience as little children. There's this term of endearment. Um, that's not to be an insult. That's not to be a jab at anybody. That's to show his heart as someone who truly wants to communicate the message with which he's about to share. And it says, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. There's this phrase uh, out in the world today. It's been around for a long time. And so I'm gonna put Krista on the spot and I'm gonna quiz her and we're gonna see whether she gets this right. Krista, if I look at you and I say, Krista, talk is cheap. blank. See, she doesn't even have to think about cheap. it. Talk <laughs> is cheap, meaning that you can say all that you want, but if your life, if your actions don't line up with what comes out of your mouth, there's another word that we call that when someone says one thing but does another, what is it? Speaking both out of both ends of it. Speaking, speaking out of both ends of your mouth, I was thinking of the word hypocrite, okay. right? So well, saying one thing, doing another. Scripture says, right. Paul says that. Yeah, so, so it's, it's in there. So our, the way that we love each other, especially the way that we love people who we disagree with, is of the infinite most importance. Uh, not only to God, but it should be to us as well. So we've talked a lot. Let you, let, let's let you have the opportunity to chat a little bit. And so we've saved all three discussion questions for the end. And so we'll go through them, leave a little bit of, you know, pause between them. And then, uh, so they'll, they'll be on the screen. All you need to do is press pause on your TV, on your iPad, whatever it is that you're watching this on, press pause, it'll stay there. Discuss the question, talk about it, uh, spend a couple of minutes. This isn't, once again, this isn't a, hey, what does the question say? How do we answer it in five seconds or less? And then be, no, 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 because that doesn't change us, right? We don't want to do interstate Christianity, meaning we're just going 80 miles an hour, uh, hashtag Texas, going 80 miles an hour, and we miss what the Lord wants to have 
you know, wants to speak to us uh, as we are engaging with his word. So discussion question number one, I'll read it. Just press pause on the video as soon as I finish it and then discuss it, okay? Discussion question number one. John gives the example of Cain and Abel, and that's found in Genesis chapter four if you wanna refresh your memory, as an example of how not to love others. What can we learn from this story about God and the attitude of our hearts? So press pause, discuss that question, and then we'll continue. Okay, discussion question number two for our evening is as follows. When we look at verses 16 through 18, this chunk that Krista read right in the middle of our passage for tonight, we learn that Jesus is our example, our ultimate example of lo loving other people. What do you think it looks like as a teenager to love in deed and in truth? And give some examples of that. Okay, so press pause, discuss that, and then we'll continue. Okay, Krista. Give them the final discussion question and then I'll pray for us and we'll be done. Okay, discussion question number three. According to verse 24, how do we abide in God and how are we able to obey God? And then how will we live this out this week? So I'll just go ahead and give you um, a little spoiler, a little hint, okay? Verse 24 is very, very important to answering this question, but don't overthink it. Okay, both of these things, obeying God and ab abiding in God, they are inter interconnected. I think I may have just given a huge part of the answer away, but that's okay. Talk about it, press pause, and then we'll finish. Okay, we have had an amazing night or day or afternoon together, regardless of when you're watching this. Thank you for spending some time getting into 1 John chapter 3, verses 11 through 24 with us. It's crazy that October is almost done. It's nuts. October has been amazing, but the Lord has some really cool things for us coming up in November, and we're really excited about that. So let me pray for us, and then I hope that you will join us either on Sunday morning for True Story Part 3, you will join us next week for connect groups, either in person or online, and for sure that you get yourself to Creek's Giving in November and Creek Weekend in the middle of November. So y'all pray with me. King Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to engage with your word. Father, help us to love each other. Love is such a, such a, a, a battleground right now in so many ways because God, oftentimes we make it so difficult to love other people. When in all actuality, God, we know how to love because you loved us first. And so help us to abide in you, help us to obey you, help us to love other people. Uh, that if there's anything in our hearts right now that doesn't please you, if there's any hatred or animosity, that you would just uh, forgive us of that, God, and ask, God, that you would take that away and replace it with your unconditional love so that we can be your mouthpieces, your ambassadors, to our schools, to our campuses, to our places of work, to our families, to our friends. Jesus, use us this week to love other people well, to not just love in word and in talk, but in deed and in truth. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. In your name I pray. Amen. Students, thanks for hanging out with us. Have a wonderful rest of your week.